Hussein is not a piece, he is the whole. In the name of Islam, he filled peace where there was a hole. For Hussein, there is grief from every soul. When he pulled a spear from Akbar's chest, it left a hole. When he buried Azgar in the sands hot as coal. When he bid farewell to a boss without hands to console. Every warrior in Karbala had their role. Every martyr on that day shared one goal. The Islam of Ahlul Bayt they will uphold. The story of their tragedy will be told. Generations of Azadari will unfold. The name of Hussein stays underlined and bold. Forty days since the skies turned red. On Arbaeen we remember those who lay dead. Without a covering for their bodies, not a thread. On the plains of Karbala, but in Sham, their heads recited the verses of God with each breath. A miracle to those who believed they were dead, but nay, they live. Slain in the way of Allah, they attained a paradise that we hope to gain, so remember them. With each drop of water, remember. In Karbala, there was no surrender. Even though body after body dismembered, Imam Sajjad shackled barefoot on embers. In Karbala, there was no surrender. Even though by men they were outnumbered, Bibi Zainab struck the tyrant's ears with thunder. In Karbala, there was no surrender. Her breath is in our lungs now. Her voice at our lips now. Scream with your voice loud. Hussein is for us now. Hussein is for us now. Karbala was more than just a battle. Karbala was an example for a child to a bully, for a teenager to envy, for an adult to misery, for a family to poverty, for a community to racism, for a nation to hatred, for a world to oppression, even in a world where it seems to be no direction. Hussein stood for all, so let's all stand for Hussein. Bibi Zainab's majlis was small, but look how it's grown for Hussein. Baby Azgar's footsteps were small, but how they paved a path of pain. Bibi Sakina's cheeks were small, but how she continued to endure, even in prison, the pain. From each story, there's a lesson. From each martyr, there's a blessing. Azadari will outlive us, but will you instill Azadari in your living?